Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is part two of my tutorial series on how to use course play for Farming Simulator 22. Today we will cover making course play routes for bailing and for forage wagons, such as the forage wagon you see here in front of you. Um, this again, of course, play that is, is a PC only mod. And if you have not already watched part one of the series, please go watch that because that will help make the rest of this make sense as these series do build off of each other. But now let's talk a little bit about getting this to work. So first off, basically we have here a field and we have that harvester harvesting. If you remember from last the last tutorial video, we saved that harvester's course. So if we go into here and we select no course, um, we can load into a new core or load excuse me our previous course here so if we go down here um, these are our course so tutorial two tutorial one this is the course we want to load in so we're going to load that course and then as we hop out here well it's not going to show us it right now but if we go back into our settings and actually have it set to uh, show us the entire course oh it did not load our course in for us let's go ahead and load that course back in and go to here again harvest one load course um, activate beautiful there we go I had to hit activate I forgot to hit that so there you go we have our course here now while you're gonna do it to get the straw to pick up is you have to have this guy here set up just like this you don't want to start your own course for him save the harvester course for what harvester did it and then have this guy roll because obviously the straw the straw swath is right down the middle of this course so if we go down here and we have this activate on the nearest waypoint which we're not at the beginning of the course so we're gonna have nearest waypoint which we explained all that last time you see now he is picking up these straws we go now they're not going to get all of it picked up they're going to get most of it picked up and oh he stopped there for a second I'm not sure what he stopped for i think it's because he's too close to him theoretically he should go we'll go ahead and try to start him up again i don't know what his issue is interesting see i say it's all going to work but then of course there's always an issue we drive forward a bit we start him off so i, I don't know what he didn't like about that i don't know if it was because he ran into the harvester for a second again the system's not perfect but he should go about it. And again, he's not going to get everything. See, he's going to miss some of this on the corner here. So you might have to go, if you really want all of it, you might have to go pick up some of it yourself. But again, this is going to save you a lot of time if you have a worker that can actually do some of this work here. Now, the other thing as well, um, you can do the same thing with the baler. So all I'd have to do is have this set up with a baler and everything would work just like that. Um, so yeah, that's how you pick up the straw swath. Just set up a course for your harvester and then have this guy go behind and pick up the straw swath um, on that same exact course. Now we're going to go ahead and jump over and talk about some grass and hay work. All right, so we have a grass field here. How are we gonna mow this and then get it into a baler using only workers? Well, it is possible now. So I, yes, I know this mower does windrow. I'm gonna go ahead and widespread this and then I'm gonna use the windrower to windrow it. The only reason, well, the windrows would be a little bit more grass in them. And second off, I just wanna demonstrate that that's the way to do it. So basically the concept behind using a a mower or excuse me using a baler or a forge wagon again baler or forge wagon interchangeable here in terms of how this is going to work um, i'm going to use a round baler this time just to show that that works square bales works just fine all the other, all the above but what you're going to do you're going to generate a course for whatever is going to windrow so for example if i was only going to use this mower i would generate a course for this thing to go across this field and mow it and put it into windrows and then i would save that course then i would load that course on the tractor with the baler go through the course of the tractor with the baler and it will get everything mowed now since we're gonna use a wind drawer there's just an extra step there and i want to cover that in case you are using a mowing setup and this again doesn't have to be a self-propelled mower like this any mowers in the game uh, will work for this if you're using a different set of mowers, you can go ahead and mow the field, and then the course you wanna make sure you save is the one for your windrower, because that is the one that is where, where all the grass is gonna be in the center of the windrower, where the windrower's at. So that's the course you wanna save for um, your baler to use. Now, this will not work. If we go in here, this will not work on a couple of different uh, setups here. And I wanna talk about those here briefly. So if we go into here, if we go under windrowers, where are we at? Windrowers, windrowers, windrowers. Here we are, down here, windrowers. So, um, any windrower that puts it off to the side, it's not gonna work on. So all these small ones not gonna work. It'll work for this one. It'll work for this one. Those are basically the two in-game ones that it's gonna work for. So you windrow it with those. Otherwise, you need to have a baler that's gonna windrow it for you. Now, um, this one's only 19 grand, so really it's not that big of a deal if you upgrade it. I don't ever use any of these anyways. They're just available in case you wanted one. But yeah, so you're gonna wanna use either a, bo a, a, a baler, or excuse me, a mower that is going to windrow it for you, or you're gonna wanna use one of these windrowers that's a center-fed center fed wind drawer center fed wind drawer that's important okay uh so we're gonna go ahead and set up a course for this guy here um no course we're gonna go into here go over to where are we at here oh gosh no i actually need to be in here gosh i don't even remember how to use the own my own my own setup here okay so we're gonna go see of course play field work target position right there is fine um field position field 57 
uh, open the course generator. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna lower it a little bit. Um, everything else can say one. We'll do three headlands around, smooth, up, down, perfect. All right, perfect, that's perfect. Generate the course. Beautiful, this is gonna mow it. So I'm gonna have this guy mow it and then I'm gonna bring you guys back in after I have the wind drawer do his job. So again, I'm gonna generate a course, mow it with this guy and then I'm gonna wind drill it with that guy and that wind drawer course I'm gonna save. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, so it's been mowed and it's currently being windrowed by our guy over there. So again, save the windrower course or the course that you need to be able to get this going. Click no course here. Then what we're gonna do, we're not gonna generate a course or anything like that. We're not doing any of that sort of stuff. We're gonna come down here to this file, tutorial, and then over here, bailing. We are gonna load that course, activate, boom. Oh, and another tip too, this little icon, you can switch between not seeing it, seeing just the start stop points and then all of it. Now the start stop points are somewhere over there. So uh, regardless of that, we're just gonna start this at nearest well point waypoint and we're gonna hit boom start so this is going to start bailing you can see right down there at the bottom and it should stop to unload once it gets a full bail so there you go it's stopping it's kicking that bail out boom and then it's going to close back down and keep going now and honestly it didn't miss anything there in the past that usually would miss a little touch on there but you can see it's working so let's go ahead and stop at the final thing. And again, this will work the same way if you are doing hay. Um, all you gotta do for hay is you gotta do, you gotta ted it first. So just have someone ted it or a course play route to ted it or a worker ted it. But yeah, get it tedded, then it'll keep working just as it should. That guy's going to run into us. Let's get out of his way. So that way he does not run into us. And then we're actually gonna run over here to this tractor and I'm gonna show you how to do silage bales. So you can use silage bales. This is a bale wrapper. You need a bale wrapper for this step right here. So use a bale wrapper to get this done. The Bicon fast bale is probably the best way to go about it, but this will work just fine. Now, again, we don't have a course loaded right now. So we're gonna go down to here, course. We're gonna go down to here, tutorial, bailing, load course, activate, boom. We got it. I wanna be able to see everything. We're gonna do nearest well waypoint. Um, and again, we're good to go. So let's come over here and Start it, it's gonna start going, and obviously square balers will work just fine. So you can see, just so you can see that this is actually gonna wrap the bale behind us as we're going through it. Give it a second to get to the very end, boom. There we go, it's gonna unload that, and it's gonna start wrapping that bale. Okay, down, continuing on, and again, it did not miss anything on there, which is fantastic, and it should just kick out that rear bale as soon as that bale is wrapped. But we'll see. Okay, it's stopping, it's waiting. It's not quite as fast as it needs to be. Okay, boom, it's kicking that bale out. It's picking up another bale right there. Beautiful, so it'll keep doing that. You can now have a worker bale for you. And again, they'll miss a little bit on the corners and stuff like that. But in general, this is gonna work really well for you guys. Uh, but yeah, that's how you do basically bailing and forage wagon work with course play. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos that I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.